Hi, Jasmine. I'm going to do your tag first one of the year, 2024. Question one, which month of the year do you dislike the most? Actually, January, because it's cold and we just got out of December, which had 31 days, which we also had to spend extra money on Christmas. And January also has 31 days and it's a very long month. Thankfully, <laughs> except for this year, February is a short month, but this year is leap year. So we actually do have 29 days this February. Don't forget that, mark your calendars, it's leap year. Question two. A good memory of your dad. Oh, I have so many good memories of him, but the one that stands out in my mind, um, I was 13 and I had been to confirmation classes at church and it was the ceremony where each 13 year old was to be confirmed in a church service. So we were all in there in the, a little chapel. It wasn't the main part of the church. It was a little side chapel. And um, so my dad went with me. Now my dad was a minister. Okay, I grew up in a really religious family. <clears throat> I remember that for few questions away from now. And I wasn't quite sure that I should be promising to believe what this service was about, that I was making a commitment of belief um, in God and Jesus and everything. And I just wasn't sure, okay? And so, the church service was about to start and I looked up at my dad and I said, Dad, do I have to do this? And he looked down at me and he said, I was really shocked, okay, coming from a family of ministers. He said, no, you don't. Yeah. Okay, question, next, next question. Three, a good memory of your mom. Okay, now, remember I said I come from a very religious family. My mom's father was also a minister. So she came from a religious family too. All of her brothers and their wives and their children, my cousins and my aunts and uncles, uh, all religious. So... I think I was already like 22 and we had gone back to Tennessee for a family reunion and it, I don't know why, it was only the women and one male cousin sitting around in the living room discussing religion and by this time my mom had decided to give up the religion that she grew up with and um, become a Unitarian. So all the ladies were just discussing it. My mom pipes up and she says, well, I think religion is fucked. You gotta love her. Okay. A good memory of yourself as a kid. Well, I I love the Girl Scouts. And my Girl Scout troop had 
uh, once a year we would go on a retreat uh, from the Chicago area up to Wisconsin up north. And for the weekend, I love that so much. And one weekend when we went there, one year when we went there, there was a total eclipse of the sun. Okay. And my Girl Scout leaders, there were two. They put all of us in this little service room and closed the door and told us not to look out the windows. You don't do that, okay? Because we all looked out the window. We wanted to see the eclipse. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah. It's probably why my eyesight is so bad now. Because we didn't have eclipse glasses or any kind of protective eyewear. Okay, the best part about school for you is the last question. And now this goes into my college years. And I had written a, um, a music piece for piano and violin. And um, I, it was a required class. You had to take performance, okay? But I didn't have to perform it. I got another two students to perform the piece for me, and I got credit for it. Do you know how awesome that is? To, to like, you write this musical piece and you hear it being performed. It was great. I loved it. Okay. Um, yeah. If you want to hear about elementary school, the best part was being able to walk home for lunch, eat lunch at home, and then walk back to school for the afternoon. That was the best part. Yeah. Okay. See you guys next week. Bye.